good morning beautiful people welcome back to my channel today we'll be taking a look at how to cut and so this cut together peplum blouse wow so excited let's go straight into it here i've already folded my fabric the front and back piece together is here i'll be cutting both the front and back piece together then the next thing i'll be doing is to mark the full length of this blouse the full length of this blouse is 24 plus one is showing another one so that will give me 25 so that's what i'm marking here i'm marking my 25 inches here that's the full length i'm going to be taking it to the other way too i'm going to be marking my 25 inches uh, why i'm doing this so that i will mark out the portion of the fabric that i'll be working with so i'm going to be connecting them together so as to know that that's the where the full length of this fabric ended so i'm marking them out together so whatever measurement i'm taking will be ending that way so once i'm done marking this the full length of my fabric out the next thing I'll be doing is to mark my shoulder measurements. So I'll be going to the shoulder area. Now that I'm done marking this to mark my shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement for this particular customer that I'm making this top for is 16 inches. So I'll be dividing the 16 inches by 2. That will give me 8 plus my half inch for sewing allowance. That will be 8 and a half. So what I'll be marking on this shoulder right here is eight and a half inches. So that's what I'll be marking here. And once I mark my eight and a half inches, I'll be going ahead to establish my armhole line. So I'll be taking my tape measure to down by nine inches. To establish my armhole line that's my armhole line then i've been going this way see to mark my eight and a half then i'll be connecting the two lines together with my ruler and there i have my armhole line so i'll be connecting them together with my ruler this way so once I'm done this, the next thing I'll be doing is to take my bust measurement so I can be able to cuff my armhole. So be taking my bust measurement. The bust measurement of this customer is 38 divided by 2 is 9.5 plus 1 is showing allowance at 10.5. So 10.5 is what I'll be marking on this bust line. So once I have this, I've go ahead and mark out my armhole. But before I mark my armhole, I'll be following my shoulder by one and one inch by one inches. Then I would go ahead and take my armhole curve and mark out my armhole just this way. Look at the way I'm placing my armhole curve. So in this video I'm alternating um chalk and pen. So in case you don't see the chalk, you will see the biro. So that's what I'm doing. So that will have a clear view of the drawings, what I'm drawing out on this particular fabric. So I'm done marking out my armhole. The next thing I'll be taking is my half length measurement. So I'll go ahead and mark out my half length measurement. The half length measurement for this particular customer is 15 inches. And I'll be marking that down there. So on that half length, I'll be measuring my width measurements. In this particular, for this particular style, you to take your waist measurements divided by four, plus either four inches, five inches, or three inches, depending on how full you want your peplum. So I've divided and I marked them out. So I'm marking it out on my waist measure here now so once i mark it out i'm going to be connecting this back to the bust to the box measurement that i've marked out earlier so that's what i'm doing here i'm connecting from that waistline 
to my boss line. It's my bio, this bio, I will let this go. So once I have this done, I'm going to be measuring, marking out my half length on the other side, the folded area of my fabric too. And then I'll be checking, measuring from this half length to the full length of this blouse. How many inches do I have there? So from here to here, I have 10 inches because it's these 10 inches that will be forming our peplum. So under my waistline, I'll go there and then I'll place that 10 inches this way. And then I'm going to be marking it out. Once I'm done marking it out, I'm going to be connecting it, this 10 inches back to this waistline with my ruler this way. So once I'm done connecting it like this with my ruler, I'm going to be marking my 10 inches all the way on that down part because this is my peplum. I'm connecting it this way all the way in that down part to form my peplum. So I'm going to be marking them out carefully. I'm going to be marking my 10 inches. Just work for what I'm doing. You will understand it's very easy. Mark it all the way 10 inches carefully. And I'm going to be connecting all the lines together this way. I'm going to be connecting all the lines together this way throughout my ship where it will be very busy but then i'm going to be cleaning all the chalks that i don't want there so i have a clear picture of lines that i'm going to be cutting out so once i'm done with this the next thing i'm going to be doing is to be cutting our neck remember we have not cut our neck so i'll go back to my shoulder and i'm going to be cutting my neck the neck measure that I'm using for this particular blouse is three and a half inches by width and four inches by depth for the front and one and a half for the back. So I'll be cutting, I'll be marking the front first of all, three and a half by four inches depth. I'll mark it out and then I'll connect it with my armhole to form my neck for the front part. So this way, I'm connecting it to the front part this way, forming my neck from the front part. So once I'm done forming my neck for the front part, I'll go ahead and mark that for the back. Because I'm marking both here, because both the front and the back is here. But I'm not going to be cutting them together. I'll first of all cut my back. I'll separate the back from the front, and then I'll cut my front. So I'm marking my one and a half for back here. Once I'm done, I'm going to be connecting it with my armhole core. Please, lovelies, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe to my channel so that you get a notification each time i drop a new video because i have lots and lots of lovely videos coming on on this channel and please don't forget to like comment and share this video with your friends so i'm done marking out all my neck both for front and back the next thing i'm going to be following is my shoulder i'll go ahead and form my shoulder this way and once this is done i always like was checking my measurements before I cut out so that's what I'm doing here I'm cross checking my measurements to be sure that what I have on the fabric is what I want to have there so I'm cross checking out my measurements and once I'm done cross checking my measurements the next thing I'll be doing is to cut it out <laughs> I'm so excited I so much love this particular cut together the front side because it takes away the stress of cutting the upper part of the fabric separate and then coming to cut the down part with the fabric itself so here we have the two together at once all right i'm cutting my cutting out 
my blouse just follow my hand to where I'm going try my best to follow all the shapes to where I've drawn them out all right lovelies if you have any question please don't hesitate to drop it on the comment section on the comment section and I promise I will attend to it as quickly and as soon as as I can so I'm cutting on my following the shape that I made on the down part to cut out this fabric the frame I hope you're enjoying this tutorial if you're enjoying this tutorial please don't forget to give it a, a thumbs up yeah so here we have it I finished cutting on my blouse yeah and please if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you get a notification each time I drop a new video all right there we have it the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be separating the front from the, the back from the front so I can cut the front neck this way. Okay, as you can see, I've separated the back from the front, so I'm going to be cutting the front neck out now this way. So, here you have it. Wow, so okay, we are done cutting. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to be marking out my waistline and then cutting my elastic because we are going to be gathering this with elastic. Can you see our first one is forming? <laughs> wow. So we are cutting our elastic. What I normally do is whatever I have on the area where I want to put my elastic, I cut my elastic reducing it by four inches or by three inches so i like for me for me so here i've already marked out my waistline because that's where i'm going to be enjoying um attaching the elastic and i've indicated the needle of this blouse i'll tell you reason why i do this so i've cut out my elastic as well and i've indicated the needle of this elastic so I'm going to be joining the needle of this elastic to the needle of this blouse where I indicated earlier on. I'll tell you the reason I do this. I always do this each time I'm joining elastic to any part of a cloth. This will help me to make sure that the elastic that is on the right side of the, of the cloth is the same as the one that is on the left side so by the time you may pin it in the needle you'll be able to spray it evenly on both sides of the fabric so just watch the way i join my elastic you may learn one or two things from here you know we learn every day yeah so once i'm done joining this elastic for both front and back of this blouse i'll go ahead and close my shoulder and then turn it with bias then i'll come and show us wow oh, hope you're enjoying this tutorial please don't forget to give it a thumbs up yeah so i'm done like i said the next thing i'll be doing is to join my shoulder and then i'll be turning the neck with a bias so this is what we have here okay here i've already turned my I've already joined my shoulder and I'm turning the neck with a bias. I'll show us how I turn this neck with bias. Okay. So here you have it. I place my bias on the right side of my cloth. And then I sew it down with quarter of an inch. And then I turn it to the wrong side. And then I stitch it down. That's how we turn neck with bias so i've done turning my neck with bias so this is what with the final look this is what we have after turning our neck so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to measure 
what is in my armhole here and i'm going to be using it to cut out my sleeve my boat sleeve okay so i'm done cutting out my sleeve here so i'll be using this one to cut the second sleeve then i'll go ahead and join the sleeve to the to the blouse okay so this is how i join my sleeve i always get the needle of my sleeve then i give it a small notch and then i'll place the notch area on the mid of the shoulder on that joining on the shoulder that's where i place the notch area and then i use half inch to sew it to join to join them i always like marking out my allowance for joining it helps me to be sure that what i'm sewing is exactly what i want i need to sew so i mark it out like this and then i'm going to be joining the sleeve to the body of the blouse so i make sure that the notch area is in the middle of that sh shoulder then i will join them once I'm done joining this part, this side, I'll turn it to the other side too, equally, and join it with half inch. I'll do this on both sides of the sleeve, then I'll, I'll show that my two sleeves are attached to the blouse. And once I'm done attaching my sleeve, the next thing I'll be doing is I'm going to be closing the side of this blouse with half inch sewing allowance. And then I'm going to go ahead and hem the down part of this blouse. And there we have it. Our cut together perfume blouse is ready. <laughs> I will do all of that and then I'll come and show us the final results. Please don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you will get a notification each time I post a new video. And I, I, and I tell you, watching this channel will be worth your time because we have lots and lots of beautiful tutorials coming your way on this channel. So please stay tuned. All right. I'm joining the other side of the sleeve of the second hand. And like I said before, once I'm done attaching my sleeve to this, to the body of this blouse i'll go ahead and close the side by half inch and then i will hem the down part of the blouse which is the peplum side and our blouse is ready i'll come and show us the final look like i said please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if i if you're yet to do so so that you get a notification each time we upload a new video so you don't miss out in any of our videos. So here we have it. Our cut together peplum blouse is ready. Wow. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? I so, I'm so much loving this. So I hope you love it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, and share this video with your friends. And if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. See you lovelies in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.